Hello Guardians, it is Ebontis, and we are back for Presage, this time on Legend, and hopefully I get this thing on take number three, if possible. Um, a little harder than I thought it was going to be. So you got an Arc and a Strand Surge, over Overcharged Scouts, Overcharged Weapons from the activity, Void Threat. There are a few Void Snipers in here that are actually really going to hurt, so pay attention to those moments. Uh, shielded Foes, you'll have them across the board. 1815 is your max effective level, so if you're above 1815, you're good. I've tried a few things in there. I've had some ammo issues, which is part of my frustration right now. And part of it is just like boss damage in chunks. I was trying something like Thunderlord because it's Arc or Strand. I don't have the best Strand options. Um, kind of forgot about this though. So I'm going to give it a shot. Osteostriga for clearing ads out, things of that nature. Forbearance for clearing a lot of groups. Uh, and then of course, Sail Spy for both the Abominations, which are two of the biggest slowdowns. And then also just for boss DPS, since you do get a rally flag towards the end. Uh, gonna try it with Thunder Crash and Curious the Falling Star. I was trying, my super was just not hitting hard enough, so hopefully it does hit in better chunks. And with that aside, let's even get this thing done. Take three, here we go. All right, so when we get started, it is all about moving through this place with speed. Now the timer won't start till you get inside. It is a little bit longer, but I have been having my struggles with the timer. And also ammo. If I had ammo, the timer would probably be less of an issue, too. So as you're doing this, you won't have to deal too much with the timer, so I wouldn't rush this part. Make sure your jumps count. This is not part of the timer, but inside you get up to 30 minutes. And it shouldn't be that bad, but I have actually had a couple runs. As I said, it's take three and it's all been timer because my ammo's not been there, so... Trying a different loadout this time. Got a little backup with Osteo in case it's something I can use for backup DPS. So we'll see how this goes. I've lived aboard these ships. I know their systems. And hopefully I can make a few less jumping flubs, maybe a less death or two. I want to show you guys that can be doable with a death, but so far time has actually been pretty tight. Now if you're looking to understand the mechanics of this, I have a normal guide. I would practice on normal first a couple of times so you know where you're going and what you're doing. So you do not want to try and figure that out under a timer. I love the sound in here. The audio is what will you do with so well done. Autocrats only know obsession. His gluttony exposed us. So I'll feed him all the trimmings of his failure until his belly bursts. Osteo's gonna hopefully keep me going for a little bit of damage though in weird situations, help clear some ads. Jumping up here. We can jump up here. Gonna skip a couple. And then right in here. I always get a little turned around, and if you do, don't worry. It happens to the best of us. Fall on down. And you gotta go this way first, so you're gonna have a couple of ads. Alright, so clear those guys out. Get your first wave done. Turn around and run it back. Arc isn't bad in here, because you actually do get your speed boost, which is pretty helpful sometimes. Watch that. Can sometimes knock you down on jump. Now, this area, you can kind of skip all the ads, so I would not linger too long uh, at any of these spots, but you can just skip them. If you run fast as they spawn in, jump up above them. Jump over these guys. Just skip them. Makes life easier. Tag your fuse. You're going to have some ads coming in here, but all you want to do is maybe drop a grenade kind of where your feet are. Go grab your switch as you go. If you can kind of thread the needle through here and jump across. That guy might find you, but all we're trying to do is actually get across this way because we got to go out, touch the switch, come back. Speed is not a bad thing to have here. Grab your switch and go. Was it any different when Gaul raised the city? Make sure you got no ads down below, so just be careful in case you do. Now we've got our fun room. Make sure you're reloaded. You're going to be dealing with quite a few ads. It's a good time to see if this is loaded. Let the slide happen. Try and let the momentum carry you across the room for time. Once you hit the switch, start working to the other side of the room. But also, while you're doing that, you're looking for whatever's coming in. And 
here's one. Got one over here. And third one. I might have missed it. Now, if you miss one, you'll know if you miss one because the door is not open. So what you can hopefully do, I've heard this is a thing, is if you just stand right here on the other side of the room, it won't kill you. I don't know if this is still a thing, but I've heard it works, so let's try it. This is a slower method because you got to sit here and wait. You kind of put your butt up against this wall. You don't technically die. And now hopefully you'll find what we're looking for. Once we hit the switch again, we know where they are. You also shouldn't have ads this time, so if you are worried about that. So yeah, this will be a slower run because normally I'm already falling down. Same switches as before. I feel like I had one. So there's got to be one back this way that I didn't see. There it is. It's the outer one I didn't get. One. Two. Three is right here and then we're out. And again, if you have a bad run, then just start it over right there. But we're going to see if we can do this even with the, the flub there. But that way you guys know that does work. You've never sounded more like your father. Yeah, the snipers here are going to hurt, so watch out for those. Yeah, Osteo is not a horrible idea. Got one more sniper. He's along the other wall, so you got to look for that guy. Not to die because I don't want the poison, or I don't want him to get too much health back. All right, not too bad. Lost a little more heavy ammo than I was hoping to lose, but we'll just have to roll with it. All right, onward we go. Many losses for vanity, petulance, first callous, then gold. Feel like I'm running in slow motion right now. Don't insult. I've grown wise from watching monuments topple. Yeah, I have no idea why I no feel like I'm in slow mode. Alright, you're gonna get a lot of ads spawning in. Void up top, arc here in the front. So I'm gonna try and hit the arc a little early. Stuff's gonna start hitting hard. Abominations are here. Also gonna be dealing with some screams coming at you. Be upset that I'm near him. Trying to keep him near that grenade so it just puts some work in. It's 
saw some stuff spawning in, so be careful about that. Try and keep the poison cooking on him. Whew, bad time to die. Yeah, see, these little 10 second counters are going to be brutal when I need the time against the boss. We will see how this goes, but... Attempt number three. Not, not going so hot. Totally, totally different build, though. Gotta see if there's any more ads up here. Hopefully there's not. Trying to cook him down however I can, let that do its thing. Try and cook them both, actually, because if that poison will at least sit there and tick on them. All right, so he's gonna be going. to get more of our group in here soon. There's the void snipes that are gonna hurt. Told you, those are gonna be brutal in here. Now if they hang up top, wherever they're gonna go, we'll see. And again, we got 20 minutes. You'd think that'd be a little while. Have to see how the damage goes on the boss, cause I mean, run an arc surge and I've got arc and then I've actually got arc armor charge. You'd think it'd be all right, but doesn't seem to be going so hot. I'll take the ammo brick though. Not gonna argue about that. I need some cover. I'll kill him. See if I can take this guy out and then possibly go over and nuke the other guys. That'll be nice. Snipers, though? Man, you hurt. That void threat is real. Some good damage. Not done because this guy's probably still over here. There we go, and we're off. I honestly don't know if that's faster or, quick or slower than the other time, but Osteo is undervalued. Osteo and both Quicksilver Storm. Those are going to be some really good guns in here. Strand on Quicksilver, you're going to get a benefit from that. Osteo is just good because it does the poison damage and you can get some great ammo setups. So now we got to wiggle our way through this last section if I can make it over this little jump. All right, when you fall through here, this will be the switch section of fun. I know this one pretty well. Hit this one. Your missing guardian was working with my father. Grab so your buff, here. run through ghost, here. Well recovered, would its memories be accessible? That remains to be seen. Grenade up here is going to do you pretty well. Should be able to cover just about everything. We're going to hit our switch. Uh, going to jump up. Gonna hit our switch. You burned away. I saw it. What do you hear, Empress? Mistakes thrown on the pyre of my past. You heard All something. Right, so different. once you do that, I keep doing this they every time. I keep forgetting to grab the buff before you run over they there. Just wasting myself my own time. Unproven faith built it by logic. This is just the back and forth of switchy fun. First time it's cool, when you start running this thing over and over and over, you're just like, all right, I get it.
<sighs> a lot of deaths in here. But, you know, nice thing about him dying from that. If I do this with all these deaths in here, hopefully you guys can too. I'm not going to leave myself much time on the boss, but we'll see how this goes. Hopefully if this happens with, like, you know, decent loadout but some deaths, you guys on a better run can have some more success. But yeah, these guys void. That's They hurt. That's why they're void. Stupid champions just sting, man. Alright, so now we have our switch fun. So we gotta hit our switch here. Gotta run underneath. Break the fuse. Watch those guys. They will burn you pretty hard. Make sure you can hit the switch. Gonna grab our buff up here. And we're gonna fall down the hole. Now this one you can get at least a little bit of a skip on. What you're looking for are the two double wides. Same thing there. Make sure you're reloaded. And once you've got your buff, all you're trying to do is run this whole way, turn left, jump over this guy, keep running on past, hit your switch, run out the door, and then when you hop up, you're just going to come to your right, grab your buff again. Now that the door is open from all your previous workings in this original room, you can walk through here. Now in here, you're definitely going to have some ads, so a grenade can go pretty well right there. If you really want to finish things off, good time for a super. Are you kidding? I don't know how they didn't die. They were like oddly immune. All right, back of the room. You've got switch first. Then you've got Fuse. I'm like, curious if the Falling Star is on, right? Yep. Okay, just checking. Somehow they didn't die there. That seems so bizarre. Anyway, after you hit the Fuse, come back here, get your buff. And then we'll basically be at the boss room and we got 13 and a half minutes. You would think that would be enough time, but man, I've had my struggles. Nope, never mind, not at the boss room. There's always one more phase in this thing that I think there is when I'm doing this video. We got this guy. This guy. That guy. Hit your fuse. You do not have to hit the switch, so don't worry about it. So on your way back, you're going to hit the Egregore twice. So we're going to go here. Save yourself a step by jumping on this. And depending on how well you can fly through the air... You got your Egregor, so you can come in here and get your rebuff. Come on out. Slide under here. Jump up. Don't need to worry about the switch. Just come around the corner. Now we're going to grab our ammo and go. Now just to move things along, I'm going to use my super first because it takes a little while. Actually, I'll see if I can do this without the super. Probably should have used the super, but that's going to probably just have to be okay. Try not to die here. That's a little early for that. All right, fireman. Next thing, this guy's a little easier to manage up here, so it's just you and him. And apparently some Screebs. Should probably die. Gonna jump around the corner. Gonna work the grenade. Nice explosions there. And then hopefully kill him with Osteo. You're gonna get your second. Oh! -ho. Now, unlike previously, the boss will not actually reset you. This used to be like a... Oh, I'm trying to even remember what they're called. Darkness Zone. So you would actually kind of have to start over. The now you got your four ammo adds. That's what I call them, at least. You can kill your guys in here if you got them. 
So what you're doing is you're going to be hitting your switches. So once these guys are up, you can hit the switches. Now, you can pass through. If you do that, just make sure you're ready. Like, if you're hitting the switch, just make sure you're moving across so you can jump right outside. Be ready. You're not going to be alone out here. It's a little risky, but we survived it. And then we got one more switch. That way you're not running out, out, and then in. Saves you a little bit of time. Got some heavy. Now, I wanted to hit him with that pretty directly. A lot going on down there, so I figured I'd duck out for a minute. He's almost there on damage, though, so this feels like I should be a little better on both damage and time. Just gotta find the big guy sitting there. Like that ought to go red and come up here. I, if you're on this side, I really like hiding back here when the ads are coming in. Makes life a little better. Now you're going to have more ads up here. So depending on your abilities, Thunderclap is kind of fun to throw in there and see what happens. I do not like fire up my backside, so that's not great, but... Poison is nice because it does not let their shields come back. That's honestly one of those things that you'd be surprised how many shields have come back and really annoyed me. Those raiders will really hurt, though. That void snipe is rough. All right, so if the guy in the middle did die, which I hadn't quite realized it, but he definitely seems to be dead, we're going to go grenade here because we're going to get a kill. That'll double, up, double load me up here. The grenade will kind of push him out of that corner. Now you're going to get your two extra adds coming in. These guys will probably just die. Finish will do 9,999. All the damage. Same thing. If you're in here, you can kill this guy. And again, if you don't like this method, get the two outside switches and do this one last. And you won't have to worry about it. Now, last time I nearly died, so I didn't want to risk it. So, as we got some void out there, I want to kind of call it, play it safe for a sec. Since I do seem to have more time, more ammo, I'm trying to play this a little safer. Seems like we will get it done. Not so much on the ammo, but that's okay. Last switch, and then we'll see what we can do with our linear. Super is going to be a big chunk of the damage, though, so a one-off super, an arc, or a strand one is going to be really good for you. Now, if those guys are coming at you and I got fire damage, woohoo! Yep, see. At least that way I can leave my uh, osteo doing a little bit of damage down there, but there's a lot of stuff that wants to kill me down there, so. Playing this one a little more cautious. Now you'll have a few more adds that will spawn. Now they're supposed to probably drop ammo, but my ammo finder up here doesn't really get me a whole bunch. Now, I'm using osteo streak at this time, which is an exotic. Maybe it'll give me more, but... Doesn't seem to help. All right, let's go linear for a bit. Too much coming at me. Whoa! Okay, he hit me from above. Maybe that'll hurt a few people down there. And this is just where it gets a little tricky. All right. If I could have a decent line of sight on this guy, it'd be great. I'm gonna cook. Oh, my super's back, so that could be a nice little chunk of damage. Alright, let's see if I can get him going with this. Cooking him down. Yeah, there's... No, this is not the side with the little... I mean, if he's gonna stand under me, I'll grenade him to death. Do what I can, why, where I can. And this is why, like, depending on heavy ammo, depending on super, 
I'm trying to save my super now if I can get to the final stage. Hopefully now I can sit there and cook him with, uh, cook him with some other. Give me one heavy brick. There's a part of a heavy brick. That'll, that'll probably get me to the next phase. If he stands there like that, he's probably really, like, he's either going to teleport or glitch. Either way, final phase, so be ready. You're gonna have a lot of ads in the middle, so be careful about that run. Up the mid. Also gonna be dealing with some snipers. Those guys are the ones you really want to make sure you watch out for. Well, fire turrets are bad, but nothing. They got nothing on the snipers. So again, want to keep get this guy's shield down. Why do you hurt so bad? Oh, I will take that heavy brick. That, whoa, whoa, got some spawns on me. We good? A lot of crap coming at me there. Forbearance for the W here. Am I being, oh, I'm being wailed on over here, are you kidding? Random dude just wants to punch me. He's like, I'm gonna do it, I'll get him, guys. After this one, remember, you got the little set of four. Two on each side. Sounds like you got a little more on this one, though, so be careful. I just want those guys dead. Got a decent amount of ammo dropping now, thankfully, so I can do a little bit of work on him. All right, I'll show you guys the other method. Since we do have three and a half minutes, hopefully between my super and other stuff, I can take him out. So this is the method where if you do both sides, it's just more, it's just less linear of a path to run through. That's literally all it is. Is it safer? Yes. Is it a little less linear and out of your way? Yes, because then the burning stops. You'll take a little bit of damage and you're good. So now, make sure your health's up before you drop, because sometimes he is right there waiting for you. Now I gotta get out of here, so I'm going out the middle section, which I usually don't do, but technically counts. And you do get more adds when you do damage to him, by the way, so the super definitely did some work. Ow, 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 ow. I need that to cook him over there. So much coming my way. Alright. Death by fire turret. Not fun! Neither is the screed. Gotta love live commentary, right? That's why you guys are here. He's so low on health too, which is the sad part. I know I can finish him, that's why I don't want to die and kind of have to sit there and wait too long. I know if I'm safe, I can finish him. Come on. Thunderclap jumped the gun there. Just die. Nope. Dude, what is up with the thrall, man? More ammo, but I don't know if I care about the ammo. All right, whatever side he's on, we gotta cook him down now. Ooh. 
Ooh, can't die, can't die. No. Oh, respawns like 15 seconds. I can do this. This is going to be really tight. <clears throat> so with all these deaths, hopefully you guys see this is not an easy thing to do, but it is doable, which is the key. I am quite literally coming down to the wire, though. Oh, I'm literally in the main room. I'm like, where the hell am I? Come on. Alright, I need to get to the other side so I can get a shot at him. I've got 24 seconds here. Four shots, come on. If I can't kill him with four shots of a linear fusion rifle with this, I just gotta get crits. Oh, come on! He is nothing. Absolutely nothing. I think he actually died with one second to go. Oh my god. Whew. I believe I found a record of first contact with this voice. Wow. It says, that could not have been much closer, so that's a fun way to make a video guide for you, right? Of Glycon. Rejoice. Remember, Ed, when you do this mission, you are not done after that. You won't Rejoice. get your loot until you actually get all the way out here. The Apparently there was an issue with that from some people, Rejoice. just to be safe, but... They Come all the way out here and pick up Rejoice. your loot. Now this will get you the catalyst for the new weapon. Here's the voice of salvation. Cranial spike Rejoice. and some of the gear from all season from that season. His madness. And again, that'll get you the catalyst if you don't have it. So that is probably all the ways not to get this mission done, but that does show you guys an option. Osteostriga is nice for the ammo. Forbearance is good for ad clearing. I still don't love what heavies that I've been going with so far. So, I mean, if you're doing this with a group, not going to be nearly as bad. But if you're doing this by yourself, it is definitely going to be a challenge. We'll take some practice, kind of putting the right loadouts together. I mean, I feel like you're taking all the damage. And since I switched this over, like concussive, void, sniper damage, probably helped me on the snipers, but there's a lot of other damage coming my way, like fire, arc, that I probably would have switched out for too. But, yeah, I mean, we got discharge, resistance, shock, magnitude, and went, you know, thunder and knockout. Obviously arc damage, so I'm making, you know, orbs that way. This is what I ran. Apparently that counts, running that thing counts for your Xenology quests. And yeah, it's 100 resilience and not even quite the ones I was going for. Um, but yeah, find a one-off super so you can do some damage. Um, that'll definitely help. Add clearing, normal weapon, some type of precision heavy with a decent amount of ammo. And that's why like linears are not a horrible idea. With a group though, you should be able to knock this thing out pretty easy. So let's get to orbit and we'll wrap it up. So that wraps up this guide. Um, it was my third attempt when I finally actually got this done for the guide. Just take advantage of the surges, protect yourself against void. The void snipers are gonna hurt a lot. Um, the void chieftains also are gonna sting quite a bit. Having something that clears adds in any type of grouping, forbearance, um, volt shot, anything like that is gonna be probably a good idea if it works. You're gonna need something at range and precision. Definitely not a bad thing to have there. And then whatever you want for boss damage and those two abominations, those are your beefy ones. And that was literally within a second. So with a little practice, you can get there and probably much faster as well. So if you guys enjoyed this one, drop a like below, leave a comment if you got a build, loadout, weapons, whatever it is that you think is beneficial to share with others. If you want to find me on Twitch or Twitter, it's Ibantis. Working on a game I can't talk about quite yet, but uh, hopefully working on something different soon. And if you guys enjoyed a little bit of the variety as well as Destiny, hit that subscribe button, hit the alert bell, and I'll see you soon.